Another Daytona 500, another chance to pay tribute to the late, great Dale Earnhardt. Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm here at the Daytona 500 NASCAR's 2023 season opener. I am currently behind the grandstands on the turn four side over by the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America. Today, I'm gonna be your tour guide of sorts. We're gonna be taking in the sights and sounds of the Daytona 500 fan experience. In case you're planning a future visit to the Daytona 500, which I encourage you to do so, hopefully this video will give you a good idea of kind of what you can expect. Why was Austin Cindric the only driver to dip his bare foot in the cement? The gates are open. We're not going to head into the track just yet. We're going to look around outside first. This is only my second Daytona 500, but I've been fortunate enough to come to this track a few other times since 2016, which is when Daytona Rising was completed. That was a massive project that completely renovated, completely transformed the main grandstands. It brought Daytona International Speedway into the modern age. It's as nice as any new stadium I've been to. Advent Health has been one of Daytona's biggest partners. Also, the sponsor of Ross Chastain this year. Look, you can write a note. You can sign a race car. No. Who did this? Who did that? NASCAR races are notoriously loud, so of course you can rent a headset and a scanner, or you can buy one. Since the pandemic, I think the only way you can rent a scanner is if you pre-order it ahead of time. I think that's still the case here in 2023, but you can you can walk up and buy one. Oh yeah, at Daytona, you can even drive a NASCAR stock car, the NASCAR racing experience. I've been seeing these things on track all week long. Honestly, I'm not sure I could even fit in one of these cars. I'm six foot seven. I'm sure they could adjust the seat, hopefully make it comfortable enough. You can also do a ride along. Check that out. A NASCAR stock car with a with a shotgun, a passenger seat. What do you think, Danny? You gonna win a fourth one? Four Daytona 500s, you feeling it? Oh, he's feeling something, all right. NASCAR is known for its sponsors, its activations, Bush Light, Geico, always have a presence. Honestly, considering a beer was like $18 at the Clash a couple weeks ago, I'll take this. I'm pretty sure that's more than 12 fluid ounces. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Tyler Reddick is serving French fries out of the McDonald's hauler. And he's got a long line of fans looking to get some salty potatoey goodness. Always keep a lookout. Cup, truck, and Xfinity drivers will do autograph sessions out here all weekend long. Oh my gosh, it's the class at the Coliseum. Oh, why is that guy going the wrong way? Oh, the big one, and it's not even noon. And check out this sweet carnival midway mini game they've got set up. Everything we've seen so far, you can access without even scanning your ticket. The line to get some of that sweet, sweet Kevin Harvick retirement merch. This is the first year I can remember where Kyle Busch will not have his own merch hauler at the track. He has to share with Austin Dillon, who's sporting a new mustache. Still a pretty big crowd, though, out front. Lots of new Kyle Busch 8-car merch is available. I've also always liked this uh, throwback style RCR shirt. It's a nice, uh, nice, just soft blue. Joey Logano's got some new two-time champion merch. Whoa, that looks new. Legacy Motor Club, the newly rebranded race team. A few Jimmy Johnson items in there, some new Legacy Motor Club merch. I love the Guns N' Roses tee for Eric Jones. Colleague Racing and Spire sharing a hauler. Does Trackhouse have their own, their own truck this year? Hey, hey, check it out. Things you love to see, and the fans are eating up this, uh, these new Ross Chastain shirts. I guess now that the Kyle Busch M&M's trailer is no more, Chase Elliott is the only driver with his own solo dedicated merch hauler making the trip. And his line is still a tad longer than <laughs> the rest of the Hendrick drivers. It's almost noon and it is getting crowded out here. Chase Elliott exactly right around there. Shortly thereafter, doing I, a saying, so then I saw this the other day, but they have a cool Chicago street course remote control car track. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh, well, they're running through pedestrians. No. Lots of cool stuff here in the kids' zone. Lego and NASCAR have a licensing deal this year as well. The FPL Solar Pavilion, a place full of concessions and more importantly, some shade to get out of this Florida sun. I was hoping to take you guys into the concourse a little bit, but I'm actually, unfortunately, running a little bit short on time. We've got one more big display I want to show you guys out here, you know, outside the track. The new NASCAR experience. Yeah, okay, that hits the spot. 
spot, that's clutch. I'm gonna head into the infield now. I'm gonna take you guys to the trams. We've walked almost the full length of the front stretch. This will take us into the UNOH fan zone. This is a separate ticket. You can watch the race, right? You can buy a ticket for the whole weekend and watch every race from inside the fan zone, but it's not a grandstand ticket, so to speak. But I'm gonna show you guys that as soon as I figure out what that smell is. Oh, I think it's coming from in here. It smells like a petting zoo. All the way from St. Louis, the Budweiser Clydesdales. That was so cool. Those are beautiful, majestic animals. We're almost down to turn one, so now we're gonna board the yellow tram, which takes us to the UNOH fan zone. Let's go. Just got off of the tram. We're basically located smack dab in the middle of the racetrack. And would you look at that? The Goodyear blimp. Better late than never. My camera doesn't have a very good zoom, but there she is in all of her iconic glory. I love the Goodyear blimp. And I also love what Wendy's is doing here in the infield. They've got a sweet Noah Gregson beef car on display. And they also got burgers and fries being served out of a Wendy's food truck. So if you're keeping tabs on the fast food wars this weekend, Wendy's, they've got burgers, but McDonald's had Tyler Reddick serving french fries. Mmm. All right, now I think it's time we head into the UNOH fan zone. All right, so this is actually the first thing we're gonna check out that you actually need a ticket for. We are in. It's actually getting a little overcast here at Daytona. Hopefully no rain in the forecast, but crowd is packed in front of the big screen. Concession lines are long. It's lunchtime. Looking at my watch, I think we're maybe a little less than an hour away from driver intro, so you gotta get your food now because Dirk Bentley is coming up. Drivers are appearing. There's a red carpet walk. Let's go check this out. Whoa, they got a whole parade. Look what every single team has a flag. Oh, that's so cool. I've never seen that before. Have they ever done that? sort of overwhelming. Drivers, just a stream of them. Coming out of the drivers meeting, fans getting a moment to wave, maybe fist bump, maybe get a signature or a selfie. Uh, but that was pretty cool. Also some VIPs. Michael Jordan and Derek Jeter are apparently here, but I think they're hiding out somewhere. Just saw Shane Battier as a longtime Houston Rockets fan. I remember his years. Fantastic 3 and D player.